How's it going YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and today's video is going to be on the Blue R1 HD. This is the Amazon variant and today we're going to be showing you guys how to root this device, get Torp Recovery installed, which is awesome, uh, make an Android backup, probably try to remove the ads off the lock screen if you're sick and tired of seeing these. Well, this one's not on because it's charging, but there's an ad. Anyway, when it's plugged in today, don't come up on the lock screen. But that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do this process. It's gonna be a little bit involved, and when we're all said and done, I'm also hoping to research how to unlock the bootloader. Uh, hopefully have that coming soon too, and we'll go from there. So, first thing we gotta do, go ahead and get your device pretty well charged up, and you need to turn on developer options. To do that, you go into About Phone, you find your build number, and you tap on it until you have developer options turned on. Go into developer options, make sure USB debugging is checked. And you can see right here, there is no OEM unlock. That's what I'm hoping to change here at some point um, so we can unlock the bootloader. All right, we've got the device sitting here. We're good to go. Let me go ahead and shoot to my computer and download some files that we're gonna need to do this process. All right, so first of all, I just wanna give a big shout out to these guys over here on XDA for finding this and figuring this out and the work that was put in to this process. This is some directions right here um, how to do it, but obviously you can just follow the video. Um, this has been tested on 16 gig variant, which is what I have. Um, it should work also on the 8 gig variant of this device. So that being said, let's go download some files. So basically this is my site and these are some files which I'll link you to. So you're gonna need to download the SP Flash tool for either Windows or Linux, depending on which operating system you have. Here it is right here linked. You're gonna need to download this Torp scatter file for the R1 Amazon Prime variant. And then you're gonna to need to download Super SU to your device. This is the latest, so you definitely wanna get that as well. So basically those three of these files here anyway, depending on your variant. And this is an OTA update. If you wanna play with that, you can. That's linked there as well. All right, so we're gonna download all of those things. I went ahead and actually already downloaded them all and they are right here. All right, plus some extra stuff I had. So you need to extract the uh, SP Flash tool right here. And this is what it looks like when it's extracted. You can go ahead and go into there. And then you're also gonna to need to uh, leave this super su zip as a zip, but you're gonna to need to extract this file right here. And when you do, you're gonna be left, I use how to show you, I use seven zip, these are the two files. When you do do that, you're gonna be left with this recovery image and this file right here. Okay, make sense? All right, so make sure those are in the same uh, folder directory. Okay, so that being said, we're gonna come up here to flash tool. We're going to click on the flash tool exe, which is this file right here and we're gonna select our scatter file. So that's the file we downloaded and we gotta find it. So mine should be here, uh, here actually. So we'll select that and you can see that this scatter file only has the uh, recovery checked and that's the Amazon recovery or the Torp recovery that we're gonna be flashing to the device. Uh, and it makes sure it says download only and you can see all that just like it is. All right, so from here, what you gotta do is we gotta go over to our device and go ahead and unplug it. Go ahead and power it off. Hit OK. And then the best thing to do with this to get this to function correctly is back on the computer here, just go ahead and hit uh, download. All right, so it's in download mode. It's waiting to see a device connected. So what we're gonna do is now we're going to connect our device to our computer. Now, if your drivers have never been installed, they're gonna should be installing too in this process. So hopefully it'll go smoothly for you. Um, drivers do come with the SP Flash too. Otherwise, I'll link some in the video description. So let's go ahead and uh, plug it in. Also, Linux, it does need drivers. So we'll plug this thing in if I can do it, right? Come on, baby. There we go. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and help it along by just doing a power up really quickly here. So just hold power button until you hear something on your computer, a little connection, and let go. And there you go, you can see it is powering, and it's done, it says okay. All right, that is it on the flash tool. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, close it out, should say okay, we can close that program out of there. Um, the other thing you're gonna need is some files. So you're gonna need your ADB fastboot files. Um, so at this point, let's go ahead and let's just power up the device. Let it power up here. And actually, the best way to do this is to hold uh, volume up and power. And just keep holding them. And this will get you into a bootloader mode that we can use 
to select recovery on this device. If it's not going there, try unplugging it. There we go. Now let's try it. Volume up and power. Keep holding them. There we go. All right, so the screen is kind of small, but you can use volume up and down to scroll to the top one right there, which says recovery, and then hit power to select it. Now, if you boot into the device and you don't hold volume up and power and it boots up the device, it's possible that your recovery will get replaced with stock recovery again. We don't want that. So doing it this way, make sure that we'll have torque recovery when we plug in. So go ahead and hit uh, power and it'll select recovery mode. And um, at this point, we're actually going to go ahead and plug our cable back in one more time. All right. And we should boot up as Twerp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project. And we do, which is awesome. Excellent, right? So now we want to, it says swipe to allow modifications or keep read only. We're going to keep read only because we're going to create an Android backup. And we're going to go to backup. And we're going to select everything, all right? every every everything in this in this list because we want to back up the entire device so that we will be good to go oh wow this really packs up at all this is awesome fr oh man this is insane i love it all right so we're just going to back up everything um you can select your storage location if you have a micro sd card in like i do i'm going to go ahead and do that and let it back up to the sd card and then it has an auto generated backup name uh, normally these are a little too long for me, so I like to just make it easy. So I just do like the date and then like full stock because it's fully stock. Um, and you can't use spaces in here, so we're going to do that and go stock. All right, so full stock and the date, and that way I know it's full stock. We're good to go. And then just hit the little button, and there's your name. You've back selected everything, and then we're going to swipe to back up the device. Now, the reason we're doing this backup and we're hitting that keep as read only is because we want nothing modified. We want to be able to boot into Twerp and restore this thing if we have an issue. So with nothing modified at all on the device, we know that we're going to have a good clean backup if we ever need it. If something goes south in the root process, if Amazon screws with something, we should be able to get everything fully restored at this point. Also to note, if you have Twerp recovery installed like we have right here, OT updates from Blue slash Amazon are obviously not going to function correctly because stock recovery is removed. So if you're willing to get to the point of rooting and installing Torp Recovery like I am, you have to be ready to give up OTA updates just as a warning. All right, we're going to let this thing run through the backup and we'll go from there. The backup is complete. We don't want to reboot our device right now. We just want to go back and hit back again. We want to go into, I think it's mounts. And let's see if I can do this. Let's see here. So we system isn't mounted. USB OTG SD card. Okay. Um, interesting. Let's see something really quickly here. All right. So we're not going to do anything yet. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this since this device is mounted as MTP, which is awesome while it's in recovery. Check this out. So while the device is in recovery, you can see that it's actually mounted up right here. So we can actually go to internal or external SD card. And just for the purposes, we'll go to internal. And we're going to throw a folder or a file right here into download mode or into uh, downloads. So we're going to just copy SuperSU. So copy. And we're just going to paste it right into the folder, the internal storage download folder. And it's going to copy over SuperSU so that we can flash it in a Torp recovery. That's awesome. I like that it does that. Otherwise, you can ADB push it um, and do other methods. But since we have access to the SD card right here while you're in Torp Recovery, you might as well do it that way. Quite, quite easier and simpler to do. All right, so back to the device here. Go ahead and unlock it if it, if it turns on the lock feature there. So we're just going to go ahead and now that we have our backup, you can see if you go to Restores, there's the backup that I created. Uh, we're going to go to Install. And then we're going to go, this is on External. So we're going to select storage, we go to internal, hit OK, and go to download. That's where I put that file. There it is, super SU. Definitely get the newest, like I've got right here, else this will not work. So just go ahead and click on it, and then swipe across to flash. This is going to root your blue R1 HD Amazon variant, 
and let's see how it does it. Does it do it systemless? Looks like it's going to patch the bootloader. Yeah, systemless mode. So it's going to be systemless root on the device, so it will not touch your actual system image. So if there's any kind of encryption or um, verified boot, it's going to be okay. So we're going to go ahead and reboot device um, right there. And actually, we can unplug this from our computer at this point. It's really not needed to be on there. And what is going to happen here is normally this thing will reboot once or twice, um, just part of the systemless root process. And then once that's done, it'll go ahead and just run fine and you'll boot right into the system. Now, this doesn't wipe um, your data on your device. So if you have apps already installed, you don't have to worry about that. Um, obviously, you'll have Twerp Recovery installed permanently at this point, which is real, real nice. So no worries there. Um, if Torp Recovery gives you an error and says it won't flash, go into that mounts and then mount system. And that will allow you to um, flash Super SU. So I kind of skipped over that part actually in the video. Um, so you saw me in mounts looking at the SD card. Just go ahead and uh, just do it that way and that'll that'll fix that problem for you for uh, being able to write to system. Um, so here we go. We are booting up. And I think because it's a systemless route, it didn't need that. I think that's why it worked without me clicking that mount feature because we weren't actually doing anything to system. We're leaving system, you know, without modifications. So you can see we still have ads on it, right? But now we should have a systemless route on this device. And there it is. Super SU, go to expert mode so you can skip past all the tutorials. Hit no thanks and shabam, we have root access on this device. If we want to prove that we can go into the Play Store and go ahead and you know download root checker and check root access with that as well. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna wrap it here. This video is kind of long. I wanted just to get you guys Torp Recovery and Root Access installed. But check out my next video, it's going to be on how to remove the Amazon ads or the best way to do that. Um, and then I'm hoping, like I said, do a video on how to unlock the bootloader to get even more access to flashing firmware to this device. Stay tuned for those videos, guys. Um, we're going to catch you in the next one. Root Junkie out.